One of the most important responsibilities of this committee is oversight. Now, we've passed a lot of laws, but are those laws being carried out the way that it should? And today's hearing is an oversight hearing on an extremely important subject. And we have a very distinguished uh, 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 witness today, uh, our administrative spokesperson on this. She has a long, distinguished career in promoting human rights and dealing with trafficking. So she, uh, I just want you to know that uh, so you come to this committee with great credibility, and we thank you for your public service. Trafficking is modern-day slavery. We have a moral imperative to speak out against trafficking. It involves labor servitude. It involves sex trafficking. It involves financing criminal activities. Uh, the ILO estimates that it, it brings in about $150 billion a year for illegal activities. It affects children who are victims of trafficking. The number of victims, uh, they're robbed of their future. The chairman mentioned in the high 20 millions, we have estimates anywhere from 20 million victims to 36 million victims of trafficking. And they're victims. And we owe an obligation to deal with this. I am proud of the leadership in our country. For a long time, working with the U.S. Helsinki Commission, we took the leadership to develop not only laws in America, but to show international leadership. In the OSCE countries, we now have special representatives, and we have reports every year on trafficking, and we share the best practices. Why? Because of the U.S. leadership, because of what we've done in this country. And quite frankly, we celebrated this year the 15th anniversary of the Tra Trafficking Victims Protection Act. It was an incredible accomplishment by this Congress and the United States and leadership globally on the issue. As a result, we have the Trafficking in Persons Report, which is the gold standard. It's on my desk. I look at it before I meet with any representative of another country so I can go over their trafficking issues and can make it clear that if they want to have the type of relationship with our country, they have to make fighting trafficking a high priority in their country. So we take great pride in the leadership of our country. The 2015 report causes me concern, causes me concern. And I, I want to get answers today about the 2015 report. There are upgrades in this report that are hard to understand. And I put Malaysia number one on the list. Malaysia has a very serious problem of trafficking in labor. We know about it. We've documented it. And in this report, Malaysia has been upgraded from Tier 3 to Tier 2 watch list. A Tier 3 country is the governments of countries that do not fully comply with the Trafficking Victims Persons Act minimum standard and are not making significant efforts to do so. So what's changed between the 2015 report and the 2014 report in Malaysia? Well, there's a couple of things that have changed. They've enacted amendments to their law, but they haven't carried them out. The number of prosecutions are ridiculously low on convictions. They have not implemented the new law. Just recently, beyond the window for reviewing this report, mass graves were discovered. And there's one other thing that's new since last year, and that is Congress passed Trade Promotional Authority. And there is a concern whether that had an impact on Malaysia's upgrade. I hope it didn't, but I tell you, and, and we talked about it before the report came out, I just hope that we're using objective standards. There's been reports that have been made that there was high-level discussions that disagreed with the staff-level recommendations. I understand the decisions made at the high level, as it should be, but how much politics went into this? I hope zero. Because this is the, the TIP report is the gold standard. I could talk about concerns in Cuba and Uzbekistan and other countries as well. So, Mr. Chairman, this is a very important hearing in which this committee needs to make sure that the work we have done in this country, setting the global example in our commitment against trafficking, remains credible, 
and always improving. And, Mr. Chairman, I've asked my staff, working with your staff, uh, to listen to today's hearings. Do we need to strengthen the Trafficking Victims Persons Act? Do we need to do things to have congressional direct oversight before you take a country off of Tier 3? Have we reached that point where we have to have a stronger law in this country? And that's one of the questions that I hope will be addressed today uh, so that this country can continue to lead in fighting the scourge of modern-day slavery.